I do want to let you know there was a what is known as a no confidence vote in the United Kingdom on Prime Minister Theresa May. Uh, she's done a v- piss poor job on the handling of Brexit, taken two and a half years. And then coming up with a Brexit that looked absolutely nothing like the vote, what, what it was on. So they did this vote today, a no-confidence vote. I don't know why they did it, because she really had no chance of it being no-confidence, uh, because of the numbers there. But guess what Theresa May did? In lieu, I guess that's the word, lieu, L-I-E-U, I think, of people not voting against her, or conservative party, she promised to step down or not run for re-election or whatever in a year from now. So the vote wasn't even close, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, they announced this right as the market closed. As the market was crapping out towards the end, right at the market closed, and I believe there were a lot of players in the market that thought if she got a yes on the no confidence, meaning she stays, everything's good, Markets would be great. Well, the market in the aftermarket is actually down a little bit. So the reason why it went down today had nothing to do with Theresa May.